Cucumber Elderflower Gimlet, take one. Hey, this is Reed behind the bar, and this is Kelly. Hi, everyone. And uh, it's a nice summer day, and we're very excited because we're making a Cucumber Elderflower Gimlet today. That sounds pretty exciting. I'm very excited about the cucumbers that we're using because we actually grew these cucumbers from seeds. It's taken forever. We've put a lot of work in it. We built a garden for these cucumbers. Built a raised gar yeah. vegetable garden. And each of these cucumbers probably are cost us like $60 at this point. Probably about 60 bucks. Yeah, we did not recover the cost in the garden yet. But yeah, but we will. And right now we're going to drink one of these dang cucumbers. We're going to enjoy a cucumber with a cocktail. Yes. And, and this is also interesting because uh, when we were traveling up in New York, I stopped at Lake George Distilling Company. And uh, you can kind of see the bottle. And they have a really good gin that has a little bit of cucumber flavor in it. It's not a cucumber flavored gin. I wasn't here. I, w I didn't go to Lake George with him, so I, was, I didn't do this, but I, I know you've enjoyed it. My role is to pass the information on. We have enjoyed it because it's almost gone. I know, that's but, why uh, I know you've enjoyed it. <laughs> right. But uh, well, it wasn't just me, a lot of people. Okay. So, so uh, and, and, and the, a couple other cool things. This, uh, this drink has elderflower liqueur. Uh, we're using the St. Elder out of Boston, right? Nice. Uh, yep. we've, we've used this before. If you saw the Terra Martini video, the great thing about elderflower liqueur is that uh, you can use it in kind of in kind of flavored or themed martini type drinks to kind of take the edge off the gin or the vodka uh, without killing the flavor. Um, and yeah. It's not overpowering. So it's yeah, nice. and it's, it smells it smells good. It's very it's very light, but it smells good. So, yeah. So it really complements other ingredients: uh, lime and cucumber, and of course ice. So. Uh, Give it a shot. I can't wait. Let's do it. And first, I will say I, I cannot take credit for this recipe. This comes from uh, Cookie and Kate, a uh, website run by a, 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 a oh. woman out of uh, Kansas City and her dog. So okay. uh, I think Kate is the woman and Cookie is the dog. So, okay. You never know. Yeah. One never knows these One days. One never knows. And no, nor do we judge. We're going to make this like a martini now. Gimlets. You can make gimlets on the rocks, right? You can do that if you want. We're going to make we're going to make these up, uh, more like a more like a martini. Okay, get a nice glass of ice, and we're going to start with an ounce and a half of the gin. Huh, stopped a little short. Do you remember that movie with go. Christina Applegate? What was it? Um, Don't tell mom we killed the babysitter. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. Um, do you guys remember that line that was in it? Like, out. no, it was like every woman over twenty-seven needs a cucumber in her house. I at the time Must have I watched the cocktails. <laughs> At the time when I watched it, I thought it was like to depuff your eyes. <laughs> well, maybe it is. I, I now I feel like they might have been talking about something else. You guys let me know what you think. None of my business. But okay. maybe it is my business. It's a great that movie. <laughs> uh, okay, elderflower cocktail gives one ounce of the elderflower cocktail. Wait, I got a stalling pour. Aww. Okay. Now. We use about a quarter, about a half cup of chopped cucumbers. So this is a nice look at fresh, those cucumbers. Fresh cucumber, uh, just toss it in, toss in. This could totally depuff my eyes. Right, <laughs> or it could make them really puffy all over again. Oh, and don't forget an ounce of lime juice, freshly squeezed lime juice. Am I throwing you advanced. off the cucumber talk? No, I like cucumber talk. Tell me more about that cucumber. <laughs> now, because it's got chopped, because it's got chopped cucumber, we want to shake it a lot. Are there going to be okay. seeds in this? No, because we're going to strain them out. Oh, yeah. And we have a pretty big shake. Oh, you're shaking it. All right, yeah. See, everybody? Yeah, People on the path. We have no audience. You. Okay. And now, a couple right, this things. This is kind of fun. You can use vodka if you don't like gin, but you really ought to try, try it with gin. And you, like I said, oh, I prefer yeah. vodka overall, but this looks, I, I'm interested in this. Now, oh, look at that. A little, little so pretty. cucumber on top. And it's very nice, right? So pretty. And this is the first time we've ever made this drink, so you see Kelly's reaction. Please pay close attention. <laughs> Ooh, yum. You like that? Oh, got. yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do a lot. That's a good drink. That is really yummy. It's so light and refreshing. It's a very nice summer cocktail. I'm going to make one for myself. Uh, definitely, definitely try this. This is yeah. a good, yeah, if, if you want. Now, you don't need the cucumber infused gin for this, right? You like just, you could use any kind of gin. No, and again, that's not cucumber infused gin. You can All use right. any gin. You can use Hendrix or, or, or uh, Aviation, although Ryan Reynolds sold it, so he's. 
dead to us. Deadpool to us. <laughs> Deadpool to uh, us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and so any gin is good. You could use vodka. You can make them on the rocks. Do what you think would be good for you. Right. I like that. I like that. But that's not quite our, our tagline. What no, is our tagline? Okay. This is uh, if, if your favorite bar is wherever you are, and we can make good cocktails. That's what it is. Please leave us a comment, follow us, and like us, uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.